for this question, um, I'm just going to rewrite the mean, which is 72.6, and the standard deviation, uh, which is 4.78 for this question. And so what they're asking you for here is um, for a percentage or probability between two values. So if you think about the graph of the normal curve, we have 72.6 um, as the mean value in the middle here. And so we have one value on one side, there's 80, and we have another value on this side is 60. And what they're asking for is what percentage of the population fall in between those two values. So this is going to require two z-scores. If you start with a z-score, um, for the 80, then you would set it up like this. When you work that out, you're going to go to the chart and get the P for that z-score. Okay, so then you're going to get the p-value. What that's going to tell you is for the normal curve, all of the people below 80 kilometers an hour. And then what we want to do for the 70 for the 68 mile per hour, we are going to do another Z score. And this time it's going to be 60 minus 72.6 over 4.78. And that's actually going to give us a negative Z score. And I'll let you work that out also. So from that Z score, you can go to your chart and you can get a probability there also. That probability will be all of the people below the 60 mile per hour line. So what you want to do is take the probability that you got here for the 80 and the probability that you get here for the 60 and you're going to subtract those two and that will give you the probability that you have x in between 80 or 60 miles per hour. So I have um, part D of the question here. And this question, I'm just going to rewrite the information that we were given, which is the, the mu or the mean is 72.6, and your standard deviation is 4.78. What this question is asking is how many people are traveling higher than 70 miles per hour. And so that's actually below our mean speed, which I guess is not good. There's 70 here, and 72.6 is our mean speed. And so what you're going to do is, is work this out as a z-score you're going to get a negative Z value and that's going to give you the percentage of the population that's traveling less than 70 but that's not what you want. What you want is the population that are traveling greater than 70 miles per hour and so when you get your probability from this Z score you're going to have to do 1 minus the probability that you got from the chart in order to get the complement or the right hand side of the graph and don't forget that it's asking for your answer to two decimal places and so you want to have um, you know if it's if you had like 0.7436 from the chart you would write that as 74.36 in your answer box so I hope that helps and uh, if not feel free to send me another email thank you